Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video, I am going to explain you about a new feature. I would say it is not a new, very new feature of a Databricks or PySpark, uh, but it is very useful in case you are writing a very huge queries or very long queries. Okay, so let's see, uh, you know, how you can do it. Before going to that, I would like to introduce uh, my course, one of my course, Build AI Application Using Databricks and LLM. This course was taken by 62 students as of now and here in this course I have used Gen AI models, vector search embeddings, vector search indexes to create a use case which is which is which is similar to a real time. Okay, so you can watch out the these two videos for free if you want and you can you know uh, you can you can also check out the uh, sessions uh, at the curriculum and then you if you if you are interested you can click on the buy button. Okay, chalo. now come over here. So this is a kind of sample data frame I have created over here. So which has like ID name a city. So sometimes what what actually happens, uh, you know, if you, if you I mean, just see over here, we have this data frame, right? Sometimes what we have to do, we have to create a view, right? Sometimes we create a view. Uh, okay, so basically, if I want to use this data frame in in maybe in the next query, uh, right? And there I need to write a SQL. I need uh, what we usually do. We convert this. Uh, we convert this view or the data frame into a view, right? So let's say write a df underscore temp one, right? Or temp underscore one. So we write like this, and then once it is done. Once it is done, then only we write a here a Spark dot SQL and use this uh, you know use this uh, data frame or we can say for now temp view here to see the to see the result right so this is how we write the code df underscore one correct so this is a long process now you can think of that you are writing very complex uh, queries and uh, a very long query you are writing and every time for every data frame, you have to create a temp view, global temp view or maybe a normal temp view. This doesn't sound good, right? So to avoid all these things, what we can do, there's a better way or there's an optimized way. See spark.sql, do select star from, see now I'm not gonna use here a temp view. I'm gonna use direct a df, okay? So here I will put a form, I mean, this curly braces df, right? Now, actually this is not a df, this can be anything. Let's say I am putting here df temp underscore two. This is just a name. Okay, and here what I am doing, I am giving df underscore temp underscore two is equal to df. So what actually I am doing, I am assigning the value df value to this uh, variable and I am using this variable here in the SQL queries. Right now if I directly 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 use this display method here, so it will give me the result. It should not break it. So the same result I am I have gotten right. So it's a pretty straightforward, it's not a very rocket science thing, but I thought I should you guys should know these this feature of a PySpark so that you won't write uh, you know multiple uh, uh, views or multiple uh, uh, multiple statement so there are two advantages you will not be creating multiple views also you will be you will be saving the lines of code also right so see i have done it in a single line and here you have to use two lines right so this is what and if you are interested uh, please subscribe to my channel check out the courses available on my portal uh, geekcoders.co.in and thank you if you have any suggestions please feel free to write it down in the comment box thank you bye bye